Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Christina, you're you're seeing things. There's no horse. No, here again, 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 again. What? Where? What's it? Is there? Where? Where? I, I don't see a horse. Where's a horse? Look out here. I've seen three times. Oh, it's a it's a guy. He's not a it's not a horse. It's just a shocking guy. Okay, so now I'm really excited. Can you imagine? So really living through a village life. And horses just trying to heal like dogs, you know? Such mm-hmm. a common. Oh, it's a cow walking there. So, oh my mm-hmm. gosh. This is beautiful experience. By the way, I don't think we have enough food. <laughs> there wasn't enough food. So another week's worth of shopping. Look how long this is, guys. Here's our driver for the week. I have no idea how we're going to fit this in the car because it's really full. And it's one of these really cute little micro cars. I'm trying to find directions. Meanwhile, we have an entire car full of groceries. No, don't do it. <laughs> Alright, so after driving four kilometers in the wrong direction because the Google Maps pin was wrong, we're here. It looks great. Alright, so we made it and we've unloaded the car. This is a our luggage and this is what a week's <laughs> worth of groceries <laughs> looks like oh, in our food. look how much this is but we are what probably f- an hour away with by, by foot to the closest yeah. store and we don't have a car because he's leaving mm-hmm. so we had to bring everything for a week but luckily we have you're gonna take care make sure we'll stay alive <laughs> but it's so nice yeah. like, i really love all this oh food. wow yeah, some complimentary, it's so pleasant. That's nice. Yeah. They have everything that we need. Like, oh, look at all this like nice stuff. And even like beautiful toaster, everything is new. Yeah. So nice. Actually, this place looks way nicer than I expected. Because from the photos, I think we're one of the very f- first guests to stay here. Mm-hmm. Whoever took photos of this place didn't do as good of a job as... Uh, it looks like, on photos it looks simple, but actually it's, it's actually like really modern, nice, modern really nice, yeah. like really beautiful. Oh, I like this clothes, look at this. I yeah, this, this is style. really beautiful. Yeah, they have everything here. Oh, oh my gosh. So nice. Yeah, very really beautiful idea. We should have brought some whiskey, <laughs> some scotch. <laughs> nice master bedroom. So they have uh, two bedrooms, but uh-huh. uh, maybe this is better because they have uh, oh. more spacious... Um, Nice bathroom. big bathroom. Okay, guys. Yeah. Like, I guess, you know, this place is really hard to photograph. Like, it's it's much nicer in person. Like, yeah. like even, like, these, like, sheets are, like, really nice sheets. These are things that you can't really tell, like, in yeah. the photos. So, everything, like, in simple village style. And at the same time, it's modern style. So, yeah. So, yeah. I like, it's very cozy. It really feels very, very homey. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna be happy here. Mm-hmm. So this is the manager Shiraj. He made us some fresh papaya juice. Thank you. And uh, Yannick hooked us up with some nice mm-hmm. kind of lock, I guess. Oh, mango steins. Yeah. My favorite. Oh, and eggs too. Look, <laughs> now we have so many oh, eggs. Johnny bought forty eggs because he was so afraid. <laughs> 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 Now you have 46. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so I was a little bit like upset that we are going, we, that we are moving so fast. And we were there for one week. <laughs> yeah, but a little bit more. <laughs> it was so fast. But Johnny told me like, oh, maybe they will be even more homey because it's like smaller and like, yeah, like more cozy here. Like more like at real home. And really, I arrived and I see all the stuff, everything looks so nice. Even when I saw this toaster, <laughs> I was thinking, oh my god, I'm in paradise. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Aren't you glad I bought bread? <laughs> yeah, and here, look, 
Also oh, so beautiful. Nice and teapot. I like this village style, old village style. Mm. Plates? Yeah, yeah, plates, so all the dishes. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I really they have everything. Mm -hmm. Guys, they even have a rice cooker. This is enough to like feed like a huge family. Yeah. Five cups of rice. Yeah, they have everything what we need. I'm really happy. Yeah. Uh, I guess it will be real our home for this week. So they have don't have fireplace, but we can use that like like real fireplace. Actually. It's basically a fireplace. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's what they used to use for cooking, but it's now there's a stove. Style fireplace. All right, now we're gonna unpack all this uh, food. How many bags do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen bags of groceries. That's two for each day. Time to unpack. Let's do it. He looks so lost. <laughs> so I'm gonna. They didn't have yeah, because it's like an old style house. I think they just didn't have closets back then. Mm -hmm. But we do have a walk two walk-in closets. What? We have two walk-in closets. Walk-in closets. This one is mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> so this is the one of the other bedrooms, and then I'm just gonna put that use that as a closet because we're the only one staying here. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can put your stuff in there. Yeah, actually, yes, I have even yeah so this is the other room with the two beds but you can just literally use it as like a private closet yeah, it's like so for some private space it's also nice yeah. <laughs> yeah so this is basically the whole house tour uh i guess we're, we'll sleep in this one because this one has a connected bathroom as you guys saw mm -hmm. which is here but there is another bathroom just here the shower as well so actually, this place is three bed, two baths, both the showers. This like living room area that's kind of basically connected to the kitchen, which is really nice. And from the couch, you can see the dining room and the kitchen. It's a nice floor plan, like a really nice layout. The photos of this place really didn't do it justice. So we'll take some new ones and put it for them on Google Maps. Uh, double check the location before you drive out here because on Google Maps, it was wrong, but I can see why it's like middle of nowhere. So just have them send you a pin. Don't make a mistake we did, but I'm excited to be here. I'm not so excited to unpack all this. <laughs> Guys, try to guess if at the end of the week we we're gonna run out of food and starve, or if we're gonna have way too much and have food left over. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have too much food. This looks even crazier than what's inside of the bags. So give you a tour. We got cassava chips, which are some of my favorites. Some cashew nuts, which are expensive even here in uh, Sri Lanka. Way more sour chips. You can tell I really like them. These are just plain crackers, but I just I don't know why they're so good. They're so tasty. Brought one big packet of instant noodles, but these are wide noodles, which are actually pretty tasty. I finally found some hopefully good coffee. I don't know if it is or not, but it's probably gonna be better than the terrible stuff that they sell in the supermarket normally. We got a dark roast and a medium roast, so hopefully this is good. Packaging is nice at least. Uh, some tomatoes, garlic, onions, about two, three kilos of potatoes, some oats for breakfast, coconut milk. Uh, those are the first of the 36 eggs we have. More cassava chips, treacle, which is like maple syrup kind of. This is a surprise <laughs> for Christina, as well as some chocolates. Some garlic, bananas, sweet potatoes, big onions, which are fixed at 100 rupees per kilo here in uh, Sri Lanka. I don't know how I feel about price fixing for vegetables and goods. I think there's there's uh, pros and cons of that. Avocados, which are so cheap. We bought all these for 150, which is like, no, dollar, no is it $1.50 maybe? $1.50 for like, 15 avocados, a pineapple, 
these are all the kind of uh, spices and herbs and everything, the powders we bought. Uh, this bag is more kind of like fruits and vegetables. What do we have here? I don't know. Some cabbage, which ironically they grow here. Peanuts, more spices. Here we have some uh, lentils. Oh my God. I just realized right outside my door, <laughs> there's a horse and two cows. <laughs> what are they trying to grab? <laughs> this really is farm life, guys. So we have two things of pasta, uh, some nice rice. I really love this long grain basami rice. We bought two small loaves of bread. This I've traveled with for the last year. This is tuna in like a spicy sauce with peas from Thailand. That's why there's this funny lettering on here. This is like my emergency packet of food that I'm, I still haven't eaten yet. I've already put some things in the freezer. So we have pork sausages, chicken sausages, beef cubes, green peas, a whole chicken for roasting, some uh, Prada bread, some chicken cubes, more chicken, bought two of these small packets, more Paradas, another whole chicken, and some uh, mutton cubes, as well as a few things of uh, this kind of, these are terrible actually, I don't know why I always buy these. They all look like they're gonna be good and then they don't even really taste like meat. And in the fridge, oh my gosh, chicken lingus, some anchor butter, some cheese, coconut milk, and tomato paste, kind of just a couple fun things. Some set yogurt, and this is another surprise for Christina. Biscuit pudding. Oh, and EGB, guys, because no EGB, no food. So now that I've shown you all the food that we brought for two people, seven days, try to guess if we're going to run out of anything, if we're going to wish we had anything, or if everything's going to be good. We spent $100 at Kiel's supermarket today, plus another, like, couple bucks at the central market but we had a lot of stuff left over from last week last week at the car girls we spent 150 dollars oh my gosh no but you're you're seeing things there's no horse no here again 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 what where was it there where where i don't see a horse where's a horse where? Show me the horse. It it lives there. That is why it's running here. It was there. Uh huh. <laughs> you missed uh, everything three times. Oh, it's a it's a guy. Um, He's not a it's not a horse. It's, it's just a shocking guy. Stop it. Okay, so now I'm really excited. Can you imagine? So really living through uh, village life. And horses just running here like dogs, you know, such mm. a common. Oh, there's a cow walking there. So, oh my mm. gosh, mm. such a beautiful experience. By the way, I don't think we have enough food. <laughs> we have more than enough food. <laughs> go, go stand behind that. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have more than enough food. <laughs> what do you guys think? Enough food or not enough food? <laughs> Oh, look, it's a cow. Uh, it's just, it's a cow, yeah. Oh. But it was a horse. It's a black and white horse. No! With no, a... The second cow. Ah, mm -hmm. they, so they uh, yeah, bringing it. So I've given Christina the impossible task <laughs> of <laughs> finding a place for everything. There's some things on top of the fridge, and you cleared this up. But yeah, these kind of old style houses don't have that much storage. And most people aren't staying for a week like we are. 
But Christina's doing a good job. I really like these baskets. So our <laughs> Johnny finishing uh, his traditional welcome noodles. <laughs> <laughs> It's so comfortable here. I feel at home, guys. <laughs> and we are watching Anton Tushkin. He's traveling. Famous uh, Ukrainian blogger. Good morning. <laughs> Morning, guys. It is our first morning here on the farm. Christina feels and looks like she's blending it quite well. <laughs> village life, true village life. Yeah. She also looks like an advertisement for Soul Coffee. <laughs> but actually, it's just beautiful. Yeah, we just bought it. <laughs> but if you guys want to send me some coffee, we would love it because <laughs> it is really good. And it's so much better than this terrible crap. This is the stuff we buy at Cargill's. They're both made here in Sri Lanka. So they're both Sri Lankan coffee, but for whatever reason, this stuff you get at Cargill's all over the island tastes so bad. It's all, yeah. Not as bad as Nescafe, but still bad. And this stuff is really good. Yeah, really much better. And I like this beautiful eco packaging. Yeah. Like, it's really nice. So, it's pleasant like, to have it in the kitchen. Yeah. So it shows that Sri Lanka can make good handcrafted Ceylon coffee, Arabica. We also have this beautiful basket. Oh, yeah, yesterday it uh, gave me a lot of time to arrange everything. <laughs> so now I put all the vegetables here, even some fruits are here. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's it was really not nice. easy. I can <laughs> to imagine. Set all our food. <laughs> and we even have a nice fruit plate. So I'm working here. I think she moved all the bread. <laughs> it's for the photo, but we have a big plate of fruit here as well. This is where my office of the day is. The Wi-Fi is surprisingly pretty good. Yeah, nice place. Yeah, very beautiful. So Christina's cooking up some bacon and sausages. My farm fresh eggs. Oh, I'm excited for this. Oh my God, this looks so nice. This is a true country farm breakfast. <laughs> A beautiful breakfast. We are so hungry. <laughs> I am so hungry, guys. But look how good this looks. Thank you so much for cooking today. Oh, you're welcome. Spasiba, diakuyu, astuti, nanjuri. <laughs> Let's eat, guys. Так, мы сейчас идем гулять и как раз. А, боже, я забыла, что я говорю на русском. <laughs> so funny. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Mm. I forgot that I'm chilling in Russian. <laughs> oh, so our animals going for a walk and veto. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful.
with the care from the ground. Is there more or? Is there more? So uh, I just asked why there's so few carrots and I guess they were all harvested already to be sold. And the ones that are left over are usually like the weird looking ones that uh, can't be sold, which means we can take any of these carrots. So, so but folks, uh, why is there But if you can find some, no, no, it's from, from so, inside, uh, yeah, inside the soil, you get some. Milk. So uh, why you can uh, sell it? Why you no, because that's it's open market. Mm. They don't. Uh, they don't. It, like it's ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's so weird. In Ukraine, we always sell it. I, I don't know. We always think that it's so cute. Yeah. So hold on. I'll give it to Christina. Let her plug it. So Christina, you can pluck some uh, carrots. Wow, so there's still some. But it's poor, it's broke. Nice. It, it's half inside. Oh. oh, good. Fresh ones. Oh, so nice. Yeah. Uh, they also can... Uh, this is not so much nice, yeah? Yes. It's so... Uh, yeah, it's dry. Yeah, but this is really nice. Yes. Oh. Okay. Okay, so we'll cook it for, the, uh, for today. Yes. Dinner. Christina, please find us another carrot. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh -huh. Here? Yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, don't give her the carrots. <laughs> Those are ours. I know, the huge cows. I want to pet them. What, did you get the carrot? No. <laughs> almost done. Oh. I'll do it. I want to, I want to take it. Actually, I just can't give up, but no. <laughs> I want to do it. No, don't help me. <laughs> I will get this carrot. Okay, let's watch. <laughs> it's better to make Is a one first. Too? <laughs> mm. Yeah, it looks like. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, Good I job. did it. <laughs> Good job. What is this one? Oh, it's really good. Oh, this is a baby. It's really good. good it's job. so beautiful. Yeah. Carrots, carrots. <laughs> oh, it's salad. Oh, it's very nice. Oh, it's it looks really. Actually, it's so some, some leaves really. Yeah. It looks nice. We okay. can use it. And I found us a lettuce. Yeah, nice. And some more. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good job! Broccoli, cauliflower, Chinese cabbage. You're free to pluck anything. Oh, nice. So they give us it to put the vegetables. I was dreaming of some charming basket, yes. But okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah.
your carriage. I can find it myself. Oh, I'm an independent like, person. He's like, there's so many carrots on the ground, Johnny. Why are you bringing these crappy, <laughs> yeah, like... broken carrots? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm so curious. If any, if anyone's an actual farmer, let me know. I'm, I'm almost guessing what they do is they just like pull everything, and then the good ones they put into a bucket, and then the small ones they just throw away. What did you know? Like uh, there are a lot of carrots. Like look, really a lot of. And now yes, now they are already red. But it seems that they grow really nice. They look really nice. I think they're just too small. But oh my god, like it should be very nice that they are small. So, yeah. uh, so in supermarkets, sometimes small carrots are more expensive than big ones because it's uh, more, tasty. More, yeah, more tasty and easier to cook. I don't understand. So, we're going to do an experiment, guys. We're going to take one straight from the ground. This one's an ugly one. No! But I wonder... It's very good. It looks very delicious. It's good, it's just like ripe, but it's it's nice and you like it's really good. It's good carrot. Mm -hmm. What do you eat? I'm eating. <laughs> yeah, nobody likes broccoli. I love broccoli. Oh. Wow. There's a lettuce here? Yeah, lettuce. Wow. Zucchini. They even squash. have strawberries here? Yeah. But they are green now. Oh. Wow. Oh, we have some nice. Yes. Oh, yeah, just a little, maybe to wait a little bit. Just uh, wait a few days? Yeah, because it's yellow, a little bit. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow will be nice. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, nice. You have uh, cauliflower? Yeah, that's good, no? So, this is a good one? Yes. So, I cut it? Yeah, from here. Mm. But so not too much it? because I didn't like it. Oh, well, yeah? Yeah. Cauliflower. I got my first cauliflower. Okay. <laughs> I love cauliflower and I love broccoli. You're so weird. You're so weird. And this is okay to eat it? We have another, I guess, salad. Yeah, because we, we bought, uh, yeah. If it will yeah. finish, we can take more. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah. Is it ready or should we wait? Uh, it's a baby still, but yeah. uh, you can use it for a salad or something. Yeah. Maybe wait, wait a few days? Okay. Yeah, yeah it's really so cute. So, so. Yeah. That's so beautiful. Oh, see? Oh, I guess. Tomorrow we will have a little bit delicious strawberries. Oh, a lot of salad. I like salad. But in the middle, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is this? Look at this beautiful salad. Oh, this looks really beautiful. Okay, I know what's for lunch. Broccoli. Yeah. And lettuce. Like this. Yeah. It's over. Okay. You uproot it. And you plant it again. Okay. We pick it. With, we cut it. Or we pick it. No, you you cut it yeah. from. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God! It's so beautiful. Mmm, like a flower. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's so much food. Yeah. <laughs> And this feeling that we picked it by our own yeah, hands, it's a really like, nice uh, it makes the feeling oh, that it would be even more delicious. Lots of nice mm -hmm. <laughs> What did you find? So, here's all of our vegetables so far. Now we're going to take a broccoli. Is there a good one? Yes, it's okay. Mm. Just a little baby broccoli. Tina loves broccoli so much. <laughs> no. Oh, this like it should be very nice. Good job. <laughs> Thank you.
good. It's good. Oh, it looks so beautiful. We shouldn't uh, have bought all the stuff in kills. No. So we just got back to the house with a huge bucket. How many how many kgs is that? You think? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's like yeah, maybe like three four pounds of food. But it looks really amazing. Yeah. You see? I'm pretty sure that actually they will just sell it with all the stuff during all the week. Yeah, we're gonna have plenty of food to eat. Mm -hmm. What I would suggest is if you guys do come here to just message ahead and ask what vegetables are in season or is available yeah. because we are at the very end of the carrot season like literally within days i think after like one or two weeks there will be no more carrot harvest so we got really lucky mm -hmm. and actually i think most of the vegetables we got a little bit lucky yeah we're... so we have some carrots and we have uh, some pigeons yeah but these were like so. cargo carrots i don't want this i'm oh, sorry for hitting you <laughs> <laughs> i was trying to throw in the garbage <laughs> But we have the nice fresh carrots now. We don't want these crab carrots. Oh, it's down on my finger. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to throw it to the garbage can, but it didn't. Sorry, it didn't fit. It's nice no. So we unpacked all of our findings from literally right outside our our farmhouse. Look at this nice broccoli. A little red cabbage for salad. Cauliflower. A ton of carrots some lettuce for some salad, and some Chinese cabbage. Mm. Christina, I'm getting hungry now. <laughs> yeah. Let's cook some food up. Let's cook. Let's cook. <laughs> All right, so for today's lunch, <laughs> I figured we use our unlimited Chinese cabbage, our unlimited carrots, and a bit of chicken, and I sauteed it all together in this pan with some white rice. So hopefully it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's our first lunch using our local ingredients. This is the Chinese cabbage we pulled straight from the ground as well as the carrots. With some chicken on the side and some rice. Mm -hmm. And look here, it's like in restaurants. Oh, who mm, did that? So beautiful I'm, uh, shape. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> my <bowl> <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we were really excited to have a fire to warm the place, and also just because it's beautiful. But as you can see, the windows and the door is open because the entire house filled with smoke. Because whoever designed this chimney was just basically decorative. You know? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see, but basically the smoke doesn't actually leave the chimney. I have no idea who designed this because I know for a fact that Sri Lankans used to cook with these stoves all the time. We've seen it. So Chef Christina has made us dinner tonight. So it's like some kind of frittata. <laughs> like a beautiful casserole. Hot dish for anyone who's from Venezuela. Mm -hmm. And some sweet potatoes too. Yes. Oh, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. But these are the vegetables from our garden. Yeah, uh, no, this is not. Some of them sweet, are. Sweet potato, yes, but uh, here are definitely from the garden. Yeah. Uh, so, so broccoli mm -hmm. and inside... Um, carrots? Um, yeah, carrots. Wow. And salad is also made Oh. With, uh, today's fresh vegetables. From our broccoli. lettuce and our cabbage. Wow, nice. And our red cabbage too. Oh my gosh, yes. nice. So nice, oh my gosh. What do you call this? Like, I'm, like it's some kind of frittata. Uh -huh. So when it's baked with uh, eggs. Mm. So carrot, today carrot, which uh, we picked up. Yeah, and the broccoli. Yeah, the broccoli, your favorite broccoli. Yeah, thank you for putting it in there even though you don't like broccoli. Mm -hmm. And we have a nice salad as well with our lettuce, our red cabbage and our Chinese cabbage. <laughs> All from the garden today. How cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good morning. So you can tell I'm in my jumper again. That's because this morning it's actually cold and foggy again. Welcome back to Noriella. So this is still at Annabella Farms, of course. 
but this weather it really looks and reminds me of that week we spent in Noreala just previous to this it's beautiful it's kind of nice to change pace honestly it was a little bit too beautiful and sunny and hot for me I kind of like this homey mood so I'm glad we're here I'm glad the weather's turned on us How beautiful this view is from our front window. See the trains go by. Okay, Christina is going to attempt to use the AeroPress for the first time. So I told Johnny, can you help me with it? And he just may, uh, took it. Okay, let's watch how it will be. No, yeah. please. No, you can. I, I'll teach you. I'll walk you through it. So Christina has prepared us this beautiful breakfast. She's pressing the coffee now. The nice AeroPress. And we have on the stove pumpkin porridge. Pumpkin porridge, wow. With some fresh bananas and strawberries that Christina picked from the garden this morning. <laughs> this really is country living. She can be like a young Ukrainian Martha Stewart. No. Just more beautiful. <laughs> Way more beautiful. <laughs> Okay, let's not compare to Martha Stewart. <laughs> So you have some nice treacle and a beautiful, beautiful porridge in the morning. It's perfect for this cold day. Mm -hmm. And we can also add peanut butter, but it's like a little bit additional. Oh, bonus. Mm -hmm. Let's eat. Look at this beautiful breakfast, guys. <laughs> this is how we spend most of our days. She's here watching YouTube. I'm here editing uh, the videos. But I have this beautiful view, if I don't mind. Ooh, this peacock has walked by from a dead I love editing here because I just see like the most random stuff every day. Alright, so it's like 5 p.m. and I, this is literally the first time I've left the house since this morning. I've been editing videos all day, so if you like all my YouTube videos that are like 30 minutes or an hour long sometimes, I hope you appreciate it because it takes hour, like for every hour of video to, that you watch, it probably takes me like five hours to shoot, edit, upload. So I hope you appreciate it. If you do, give a thumbs up, share with some friends, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more but 
it's nice being out here. It's, it's a very well needed break. You know, people ask me, why did we come out to the farm? It's really just to kind of get away from everything, get away from the city, get away from normal life and enjoy some fresh air here in Nui Alia. Actually, umbrella now. I wish I knew to do what to do with all these cabbages. Oh, there's a cat here. How cute cool is that? All right, no. <laughs> I told you to wait. Okay, Christina, what do we have today? Um, chicken. Okay. With uh, oranges inside, sweet potato oh. and pineapple. So we're gonna put it in the oven to do the top oil because for whatever reason this oven is super old school and you can either turn on the top or the bottom, but not both at the same time. <laughs> so we cooked it for 40 minutes on the bottom and now we're gonna cook it. Another 15 minutes on top. Nice. So our chicken is ready. It was not easy because they have a gas oven and it was turning off all the time on the top. But now it's ready. And Johnny. Yeah, so I'm going to. Oh, shit. We should have said before. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, it's heavy though, it's gonna. <laughs> so we're gonna cut okay. this up. We're gonna cut this up like a turkey. Mm -hmm. I'm not actually the best at the carving stuff, but I think I should do an okay job. We'll do four, four big pieces. Mmm, I smell the orange that Christina put in here. All right, so let's call this <laughs> Canadian Thanksgiving. <laughs> Just because it comes earlier than ours. <laughs> but yeah. it looks nice. Mm -hmm. And to act, add to the luxury, we don't have any napkins, so... <laughs> <laughs> so today, village style dinner, also salad made with uh, uh, vegetables which we picked up mm. and now it's just a half because we were hungry. Because uh -huh. <laughs> you can see it's completely pitch black now, even though we were supposed to have dinner three hours ago. <laughs> it was Owen, uh -huh. not just me. Uh -huh. Let's eat. Okay, yeah, let's start. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.